I'm Leah Laney with Exapta Solutions, and we're going to show you how to install the Thompson wheels along with the medium closing bracket spring and the tilt wedges, and those different settings you may want to adjust while you're in the field or before you get to the field. Here we're showing the Thompson wheel complete package. That consists of two wheels on each side, the Exapta medium spring that's 55% rate of the OEM spring and the toe out wedge. Each part is very important and it gives you the maximum results. The medium spring gives you a lot more play with your uh, amount of down pressure that you may need. The OEM spring, sometimes that first notch is okay, but you may need some more down pressure to close the C trench more aggressively. And that second notch would be too much. So with our medium spring, Exapta's medium spring, you can use your notches uh, more, maybe the second or the third or the fourth, depending on how hard your soils are. Then the toe out wedge is adjustable, and we recommend that in the northern soils, you would want to start at 45 degrees down, and in the southern soils, you would want to start at the max toe out of six degrees. And as what this does is it opens your wheels up wider at the front and it brings them together more in the back, back here to where you're pulling in your soil and you're, you're closing the seed trench better. How we assemble the Thompson wheel with the bearing already in it. You have the bolt, the machine washer that Exapta supplies along with the bushing. The shroud. Then two washers, until I wedge, and then you bolt it on. And if you're using your existing bolts, we recommend to go ahead and stagger them because the bolts you may have are probably long. And so if you stagger them, you won't have any issues. The more down pressure you have on your Keaton and you embed your seed firmly at the very bottom of the seed trench, and then you can be more aggressive with your Thompson wells as far as the, as how much toe out wedge you have and how much down pressure you run. You want to crumble both sides of the seed trench so your roots can break through and grow. And even if you get down to the bottom of the seed trench with the Thompson wells, crumbling that sidewall would be ideal 